Hello there, everybody. This is Seawop the Platinum One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Holy crap, what the heck do we have here? So last time, Majora's Mask was revealed to be the true evil. It was just using Skull Kid to do all those terrible things in Termina. So, let's go. Now... You're probably thinking, like, oh, the moon doesn't look like this. Well, this is how Nintendo apparently envisioned it. They probably envisioned the moon to be like this, and I gotta say, it is amazing. It's absolutely amazing how they can think of this stuff, you know? You expect, like, rocky terrain and, you know, generic stuff, but no. This is incredible. Um, you can talk to the Majora's Mask kid right here if you want, but we're going for 100%, so let's talk to the other children. Yeah, these are the lunar children, by the way. People who live on the moon, and if you look at the back of their heads, they look like the happy mask salesmen. Which makes me question the very fabric of their origins, as a matter of fact. But anyway, um, let's try to find the uh, guy with uh, Adolwa. Oh, there. There you are. Ah, nice weather, isn't it? Masks, you have a lot. You too will be... Will you be a mask salesman? I see, that's what I'm talking about. So the masks, give me some. Alrighty. So let's try to give him a transformation mask. Not that! Hurry, put it away. Okay, jeez. <laughs> you sound like that's a bad thing, huh? Anyway, um, let's first give him the stone mask which we got from an invisible soldier in Ikana. Helped us to be invisible. So, let's play Hide and Seek, part one, the, the game. So here, we have a little mini dungeon of sorts in the final area of the game, Jesus. <laughs> I still can't believe this exists. So anyway, what you want to do here is you want to land on the Deku flowers on these platforms right there. And, yeah, that's basically what you gotta do. There are different challenges to these mini dungeons of sorts. Yeah, spoiler warning. Spoiler warning, the kids are gonna take you to mini dungeons. Yeah. Well, these aren't really mini dungeons, they're more like... Final-ish areas? Yeah. Okay, let's do this thing for real. No! Come on! Jesus Christ! Okay, this time. Hooray! Okay, so if you look out there in the distance, going into this uh, golden deco flower right here, you can see... What the hell? A piece of heart? In the final area? What wizardry? Yep. Our last four heart pieces and our last heart container, by extension, is in the moon. Yeah. That is why I told you, you should have, you should have, uh, and I'm not gonna make it. Dope. But yeah, that is why I told you, you should have 19 hearts at this point, if you're just going for all the heart pieces in the game. And now I pop out and say, hey! So, let's fly toward victory, and let's see. And we found the kid, so he's probably expecting more masks, so let's give him Don Garo's mask, hopefully. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. Alright, Don Garo's mask. This allowed us to conduct the Frog Choir at Snowhead Mountain. Heh <laughs> thanks, you're nice. Aw, thank you. Can I ask a question? Your friends. What kind of people are they? I wonder, do those people think of you as a friend? Hmm. They do indeed. I have friends. I have a bunch of friends. They're nice. They really do think of me as a good friend. And I th and vice versa. And speaking of friends, we still haven't found Navi yet. Link still hasn't been fa finding Navi since he came to Turnma. Termina, 
All because he got caught up in all this mess. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and find the Go Kid, and there he is. Aye. Okay. Ah, nice weather. Okay, they say the same thing as the other children do. So, the mask. Give me some. All right. So, let's see. Let's give him the mask of cafe and circus leader's mask. Oh, and by the way, we're going to need this. The circus leader's mask was completely useless. However, it will allow you to cry man tears of awesomeness and keep the bandits away. Which, by the way, are rumored to be uh, the Gorman brothers. And here is Cafe's mask, which you used to help find Cafe in the previous side quest. Hide and seek. Let's play. Let's play hide and seek. Part two. The rolling. Because spoiler warning. Because we have the Goron mask with us, we are going to need to do some rolling prowess here. Because this little mini dungeon is considered to be some of the hard, one of the hardest. So. Basically, you gotta roll. You got to roll and fall because apparently I can't go straight. Uh, this is gonna be a huge problem, isn't it? It's gonna be a huge problem. So of course you want to get yourself lined up over here and booyah and let go here because you're gonna be bouncing into some chests. Gonna keep rolling, rolling along. Continue to roll along until around this point right here where you stop. Just to get some extra speed going. And just so I don't accidentally uh, fall off here. By the way, that's not the way you want to go here. Um, you can talk to the Gossip Stones with the uh, Mask of Truth if you want. But personally, I don't want to do that. So, yeah. Anyway, we got more rolling here. Got more rolling along here. By the way, if you fall, if you fall, if you fall, you have to start the whole mini dungeon all over again. So, yeah, hope you have fun. Just like a certain person did. <laughs> uh, I probably shouldn't. What the hell? Oh, yeah. And by the way, uh, these little pads right here, they'll take you all the way back to the... Uh, They'll take you all the way back to the beginning, should you mess up, so... Let me actually do it right... Let me actually do this right now. Teleport! Yeah, they'll teleport you straight back here, so... You can basically align yourself with that. Well, damn. What the hell? <laughs> I can't even align myself properly straight, man. Oh. Okay, so if you fall off after teleporting, it'll basically teleport you back here. Okay, that's kind of neat. The shit! What the? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my God! If there's a gaming god, are you there? Are you here to punish me for what I've done in the thing? Are you here to punish me for what I've done in the Andrew and Cafe side quest? I sure hope you don't. Oh my goodness! He's out to get me. What? Before I even made the first jump. Okay, finally made it over here after a billion tries. Well, not really a billion tries, but still. <sighs> okay, so now I have to roll along over here. So, let's see. Alright. Properly align right there, and let's go. Alright. So far, so good. And I can just go straight here. I can just go straight here. Alright. Come on. Booyah! Yeah! Piece of hate! Yeah! <laughs> okay. So now, all we have to do now is go straight. My, my god, my heart is pounding like crazy. So now all we have to do now is roll along here. And... Well, actually, no. No, 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 no. That's not what you have to do. 
That's not what you gotta do. What you have to do is you have to go over here to this place. I told you not to go to this place here, but but now you have to go over here. So yeah, you'll go over there from here. So uh, let's see. You have to go over here to this very spot right here, and then roll the hell along, and we made it. Very, very nice indeed. So let's see. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. Jeez, you guys are needy. Okay. Let's give him the captain's hat and the Garo mask. The Garo's mask allowed us to see the ninjas, ninjas of the Ikana castle. And the captain's hat allowed us to talk to Stalchilds as if we were their captain. Um, can I ask you a question? You. What makes you happy? I wonder, what makes you happy? Does it make others happy too? Well, I know I like entertaining people with my videos, so... Yeah. What I like is enjoyable. I like what I, doing what I'm doing. So... Anyway. Now let's go back to the tree. Um, a little known fact is that, um... Well... A well-known fact, thanks to you-know-who. Um, if you actually have an aerial view of the place, um... You can actually see it's an eye at the Mask of Truth, by the way, so... Yeah. Oh, and by the way, um, you don't have to talk to every one of these kids. You can go directly ahead and talk to the Majora's Mask kid. But these are entirely optional. Only if you're going for 100% do you want to uh, talk to all the Lunar children. So let's give the Georg child these masks. The Blast Mask, which we got from saying the old bomb shop man's life. <laughs> which allowed us to blow up our face. The All Night Mask, which allowed us to listen to Andrew's grandmother's stories about the giants and the little imp. And the Bremen Mask, which allowed us to march around. Hooray! So let's play Hide and Seek, Part 3. The Annoying Water Labyrinth. Okay, sorry, I had to cut out my little... I had to edit out my little, uh, chewing spree there, but yeah. This is the Georg Dungeon. Now, wait just a moment. I have to get my notes out because... Apparently I need to. <laughs> okay. So, in this uh, little bit of a Great Bay mini dungeon here... Let's see. We have to go to the left. And then right. And then we gotta stay to the left, I believe. And stay to the left. And if you've done that, you get a piece of heart. Yay! And going back over here will take you back to the entrance of the mini dungeon, so... Yeah, nothing really too special to worry about. But if you want to go directly to the Georg child, you have to go right, I believe. I think you got to stay all the way to the right. At least I hope so. Or don't go to the left. That that'll work. Uh, no. <laughs> I think you want to stay all the way to the right, actually. Actually, no. I think you have to go to the left at least uh, once, then like stay to the right. Hmm. This is like that one place in this one thing where I forget where to go, so... What? <sighs> okay, I think I have... I think I was right before. I think I have to stay to the right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is like the one place I remember least in Majora's Mask. <laughs> Just like that, Andrew can face Cyclops part when Seiken's hideout. What? Jeez! Is this happening? Is this really happening to me right now? Because... I really don't like it to happen. Or maybe you have to go left, right, left, right. <laughs> Alright, let's... Let's actually try that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Alright. 
Islands. Hopefully this is it. Yeah, I think it is. Yep, it is. Hooray! So, let's give him the Mask of Truth, Mask of Sense, and Grey Fairy's Mask. Yes. He found me. Hey, I want more masks. Yeah. You needs it. You needs it good. Anyway, Mask of Truth allowed us to read the thoughts of animals and read the gossip stones even though we didn't read them. Mask of Sense, it allowed us to sense for magic mushrooms, which I didn't do. And the Great Fairy's Mask, which is the first legitimate mask that we got on our journeys to find stray fairies in the dungeons. The right thing. What is it? I wonder, if you do the right thing, does it really make everybody happy? You know, during the whole SOPA fiasco, I actually read I actually read that thing a bit on somewhere. And I actually read that exact quote when the whole SOPA fiasco was going on. And it was basically talking about like, what if the government passes it? Will they be doing the right thing or something? I don't even know, but anyway. One more kid to go, and that is the Twin Mole Child. Let's see. What does he want? He wants the mask. We needs it! We wants it! We prowls for it. Yeah, okay. So, Postman's Hat. It allows us to check for mailboxes, even though we didn't... Even though we only got it once. The Kamal's Mask. It allowed us to teach a dance to the Rosa Sisters in the beginning. The Romani's Mask. We got it from Kremia after helping her defend the wagon and allowed us to go into the milk bar. The Keaton Mask. It allows... It was formerly the mask... It was formerly the mask that Cafe kept for so long. Let's play Hide and Seek, Pot 4. The something. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, the last mini dungeon. Holy crap. So, if you go into these jars, you'll get magic, not like we need it. And what's in here? Money that we don't need, because this is the final area of the game and there's no uh, shops here. Boo. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's actually quit the hookshot. Anyway, what do we have in here? We have Dino Foes once again. Hey, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Die! I said, I said die. I said die, boy. I said die. <laughs> God, Foghorn Lakehorn is hilarious. Anyway, next room. This is basically sort of a mini gauntlet of sorts, and ooh, damn it, we gave away the mask of truth. I can't even hear it. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> and oh, hello. Hi, Garo Master. Again, again. Yay! I get to hear your awesome sound effect. Yes, and actually, maybe he can't? I don't know. No? Okay. If you're not gonna do it, then you then you will pay for your crimes. For not hearing, for not making me hear the awesome sound effect of the world. You pay! I say. Oh. Yay! One more time! Okay. Now, let's speedrunning tactics over here where we can see that there's a treasure chest right there. So let's hookshot onto this treasure chest. That's why we need the hookshot. So let's see, what do we have in here? We got arrows. Very nice. Why? You'll see. Anyway, another gossip stone we can't read, damn it. And what do we have here? The iron knuckle. You know what? Let's use the great fairy's sword. Let's do it. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? I'm just a guy. You know, using the Great Fairy Sword. Using the Great Fairy Sword. Sword to do some damage on you, Naburu. Die. <laughs> yeah, these Iron Knuckles go down very easily with the Great Fairy Sword. Die. And die. Ow. I actually got hit by one of them. I said, ah! Clipping through the sword. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. That's what we're talking about, man. That is what we're freaking talking about. Anyways. We have bomb chews here. 
10 bomb chews. You would be very hard it would be very hard for you to miss this. Because basically what we need to do here is we need to use uh let's see, do we? Oh, no, we don't yet. We need to use our bomb chews to open that cracked floor right there. So, let's see. 1 2 3. All right. Let's see. Oh, there we go. And we don't need to use our fire arrows. We can only use our regular arrows. Okay. So let's shoot this thing. And a ladder will appear. So we can climb it. Climb it. Climb it. Climb it on. Okay. And... Hey, look, guys! There's an obvious heart piece right here! You would be very stupid to miss this heart piece. That is our last heart piece. And our final heart container. And now the very last thing that we're going to do is to bomb that cracked wall. One, two, three. Let's see. Boosh. And this is where we need to use the fire arrows here. So let's equip them. And shoot that thing. You found me. Hey, I want more map. Why do you sound like that? Anyway. Let's give him... Giant's Mask, Gibdo Mask, and Couple's Mask. The Giant's Mask allowed us to grow giant to fight against Twin Mold at the Stone Tower Temple. The Gibdo Mask was once the, the hideous face of Pamela's father who got turned into a Gibdo. But fortunately, we reunited them. And the couple's mask, which we got from reuniting Cafe and Andrew. Oh wait, he wants more. No, the bunny hood, why? Okay, the bunny hood we got from this guy at Romani Ranch, who wants to see the chick's hatch one day, so we helped him out. I'm gonna miss the bunny hood even though the Gorn mask and opponent was faster. Um, can I ask a question? Your true face, what kind of face is it? I wonder, the face under the mask, is that your true face? You know, for the longest time, for the longest time, I have never known what that meant. Your true face. Is he, like, talking about, like, what's your true self, or anything like that? I'm not really sure. But with that, everyone has gone away. Except this guy. Maybe we should talk to him to see what he wants. So next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we're going to talk to, Ma to the kid with Majora's Mask to see what he wants. So see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.